more you are exposed to the sun, the less protected you are. Your skin is constantly being bombarded by repeated photons of light from UVA and UVB. The UVB is very short wave photons and they give a much faster and more damaging response to the skin, primarily responsible for the sun burning effects and skin cancer. UVA rays are more deeply penetrating and are responsible for more of the chronic types of damage to the skin. Which can result in everything from hyperpigmentation, age, or sunspots as they're commonly referred, to deep and coarse wrinkling and of course skin cancer eventually. When you go back and you look in the 70s, 80s, and 90s period, this was really when the evolution of sun protection began to really take a foothold. SPF stands for sun protection factor. It's a clinical measure that looks at the burning rays of the UVB and UVA continuum, um, but only the burning ray elements primarily. There was a, a, a pretty broad array of UVB sunscreens that could be used, but a very limited amount of UVA sunscreens that were approved. Then came the advent of avobenzone, uh, the most recently approved UVA sunscreen for many decades by the Food and Drug Administration. Avobenzone provides the highest and broadest protection against UVA, but it has the unfortunate characteristic that upon absorbing UVA light from sunlight, it breaks down. And so over time and over exposure to sunlight, the protection diminishes. We'd looked for a number of years for other ingredients that we could mix with it that would photostabilize it. The ingredient that we used with the avobenzone is called DEHN. The combination of the DEHN with another chemical, oxybenzone, forms a complex that makes the whole system stable. Technology is only as good as its ability to be translated into commercial products that appeal to the consumer and professional and uh, they've offered these in various different forms to make them very convenient to consumers in sprays and lotion formats. Uh, very elegant aesthetic appeal. Advanced sun protection, you can't wait to apply. Each of the franchises established a unique trademark name associated with the technology use in their products. Specifically, Neutrogena established a trade name Helioplex, and at the same time, Aveeno established Active Photo Barrier Complex. The Neutrogena Group can clearly be applauded for putting a, a nice portfolio of initial products into the marketplace. Five were the initial launch, and there's more to come. Aveeno mixed the complex into their products and added soy, which helps prevent and ameliorate some of the darkening effects of uh, sun on the skin. By adding the active soy into the sunscreen system, you get the dual benefit of protection as well as maintaining even skin tone. The reaction from both the consumer and the dermatologist has been overwhelming. We were at the AAD last year when we explained the helioplex and the active complex barrier to the dermatologist, and they were blown away. And came away telling us this is the biggest innovation in sun care in the past 20 years. I'm thinking of the formulators who just worked so hard and went through a variety of prototype formulations to deliver something that is not greasy, is not oily, is appealing to use. And we got it out there so that the consumer can now use it and have a really super product. I have never experienced um, such a rapid um, and high-level success as this technology breakthrough is brought to the forefront, combined with the fact there's the moral element. You can honestly look in the mirror and say, I've done something better for my fellow man.